Common Rider Decade Tsukasa Kadoya, Destroyer of Worlds, 10th Heisei Rider, Creator of Magenta, and Holder of the Longest Legend Rider cameo in Common Rider Geo. Even though I have yet to see this character's respective season, Tsukasa won me over very quickly in Kamen Rider Geo and became one of my favorite characters while he was a part of the main cast. However, when he did appear in the show, one thing about him ended up intriguing me and most of the Toku community as well. That of course is the perfect way he says Mazen. I mean Decade's Neo Decade Driver and its ability to grant Decade the power of the Heisei Riders that came after him. This new gear just shows up in the show from out of nowhere along with the Decade Ride Watch Tsukasa has with him. There is no explanation and it's not even addressed in the show despite the fact that a new mega powerful driver is not something you can easily just dismiss in Kamen Rider. So because of this, in this video, I'm going to go over a few of my theories for where all of these new powers of the Destroyer of Worlds could have come from. While I was writing this video, we also got the introduction of Kamen Rider Dian's Neo Dian driver as well, as he is introduced into the show alongside the reintroduction of Decade. I won't really be talking about that whole thing here, because the ideas in this video for the Neo Decade driver can pretty much be applied to the Neo Dian driver as well. However, if you do want to see me go in more depth with the end, please be sure to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord server so you can share your own theories, ideas, and suggestions since this video was largely inspired by you guys. So alright, now let's get into the first set of theories regarding Kamen Rider Decade. This first theory revolves around the possibility that the decade we see in Geo is the decade that we see from the original show in 2009. Decade is legendary for being the dimension hopper of Kamen Rider, so legendary that it's pretty much the excuse that you can use for anything relating to him, which is exactly what I'm going to be looking at here. As we know, the original Decade Driver grants Decade access to the original Heisei Riders before him, and all of their powers can be accessed by him using ride cards, which need to be rejuvenated by venturing across the different alternate worlds upon their first use in the show. What this shows us is that Decade can acquire the powers of different Kamen Riders by traveling to one of the worlds relating to them and interacting with the people of those worlds. As such, I think that a logical progression of this would be that at some point, Decade ends up traveling to the different worlds of the Heisei Riders that came after him. He would have probably acquired the ride cards and powers of those previous riders, much like he did so with the original 9. However, he is unable to use these powers in his Decade Driver simply because they are most likely too advanced or because the original Decade Driver was only designed to work with the original 10 riders and it didn't think about any that would come afterwards, much like a lot of the drivers that are made today. The cards that Decade would game afterwards would of course only work for him once he manages to obtain the Neo Decade Driver. How would he acquire this new driver? Maybe. Once he collects all the powers of the Heisei Riders after him, when all the Rider cards are brought together, it upgrades the Decade Driver into its new form, allowing Decade to finally use the powers of Double, Borze, and the others. We see this happen all the time, like when full bottles are brought together in Kamen Rider Build, or with the Gasha trophies in Kamen Rider X8. However, this doesn't explain one of the anomalies in Tsukasa's reappearance, which is the Decade Ride Watch appearing out of nowhere. Maybe a change that would need to be made to this theory in order to suit this would be that the Neo Decade Driver is only made once Decade acquires Geo's powers. Now I know that sounds basically like what I just said. Since Geo is the most recent Kamen Rider, once again it makes sense that he would be the last power Sukasa gains, completing his collection and creating the Neo Decade Driver like I just said. But we know that Geo has a power set similar to Decade's, which is the ability to use the powers of the other common riders. This can mean that Decade can't even use the power of Geo in a normal capacity. Or maybe he can't get Sogo's powers very easily. Maybe once Decade encounters the alternate Geo, he has to actually filter Geo's powers through the Decade driver, which ends up upgrading it and allows him to use the powers of the other common riders that he has been collecting up to that time. 
the merging of the powers of what are arguably the two most powerful common riders ever would probably have a little bit of a side effect, which in this case is the creation of an anomaly, the Decade Ride Watch. The creation process would probably be similar to that of the Geo 2 Ride Watch, which could explain the unique design and functionality of the Decade Ride Watch compared to the other Legend Ride Watches of the season. Along with that, this merging of powers could have removed the powers of this world's common rider Geo, which would result in this world losing Oma Geo and creating Waz's Waga Kuseishu in the form of common rider Decade. Or maybe Geo doesn't lose his powers from the siphon and there was no Decade Ride Watch made. Maybe the Decade Ride Watch could have simply been a watch the alternate Geo just had on him, and Decade just chose to take it with him because it had his face on it and it seemed like a nice trinket for the road. It definitely seems like the kind of thing that Tsukasa would do. As for where this alternate watch would have come from, I assume that it would be made like any other watch in this dimension. Since, in theory, this decade would probably still be a 10th anniversary season that could utilize the other rider's powers, this ride watch copies that ability, and again, it would be made like any other watch. But maybe this alternate decade can't dimension travel, and that's what makes the decade that we know unique in the worlds of Kamen Rider. But of course, nothing lasts forever. This second theory is my personal favorite of the two, but sadly I think it's the least likely of the two. Still, I think that it has a good possibility of happening in the show. This theory is based off of the little footage we get of Decade from the Heisei Generations Forever movie, which is currently unreleased on DVD and Blu-ray in Japan, so us foreigners haven't been able to see it yet. What we see in the little footage is that Decade is not wearing the Neo Deca Driver, but he is instead wearing the normal Deca Driver. What makes this even more intriguing is that the movie is supposed to take place immediately before Decade actually debuts in the show. Now, however he may have acquired the Neo version, it would probably have taken a good while for him to get all the powers of the different Heisei Riders that he didn't already have. Because of this, I believe that the decade we see in Geo's show could actually be an alternate dimension version of the Dimension Hopper himself. However, this version obviously has a twist in the form of the Neo Deca Driver. How did this version of Tsukasa acquire the driver? Well, it was simply just part of his arsenal. In this theory, the world this decade is from celebrates the 20th anniversary of the Heisei era as opposed to the 10th anniversary. As simple as that sounds, it very simply explains where all of his powers could have come from. Assuming that this was an actual season, the show would probably function the same as Decade's original show, just with the added riders. For example, after traveling to the world of Hibiki, instead of traveling to the world of negatives, Decade must travel to the world of Double, then the world of O's, then the world of Forze. The biggest problem with this theory is really the Neo Deca driver itself. It contains all of the symbols of the Heisei Riders, other than Decades of course, and Geos. This would seemingly mean that Tsukasa is the 19th anniversary rider, which is a bit strange and is honestly a bit of a weird number to base a major anniversary event off of. But we know that Tsukasa must have the powers of Geo, because the Neo Deca Driver set from Premium Bandai actually includes a common Rider Geo watch, so we can assume that he should be able to transform into Geo and use Wagamalo's powers. It could be left out of the driver's face, because most likely Geo, as this dimension's 10th anniversary, still has a lot of time traveling shenanigans. This constant displacement in time could make Geo a sort of legend among the common Riders, or at the very least makes him hard to track down. Or this could be due to the higher power levels of Geo than I mentioned earlier in the video. These stronger powers could be why Geo is left off of the driver as this dimension's 10th anniversary, basically the equivalent of why the Decade Ride Watch is so different in the show for Kamen Rider Geo. Along with that, making this decade a 20th anniversary could also explain why his portals are able to go through time now, along with dimensions. Or, once again, it could be in addition to the arsenal once Decade finds Geo in the world of Geo, which is also where he finds the Decade Ride Watch, his extra souvenir from this world. Wow, so very clearly there are a lot of different possibilities for the origin of Kamen Rider Decade's new powers seen in Kamen Rider Geo. 
Please let me know your own ideas for how the Destroyer of Worlds could have evolved into this higher state of power, or let me know your ideas for some videos I should make since, as I mentioned earlier, this video was largely inspired from you guys commenting and letting me know your own ideas in the show. Now, if you don't mind, I'm actually going to go and try to get a Neo Decca driver of my own now. I've always quite liked the look of Decade's gear, and I'm sure that the newer driver will be a worthwhile purchase to celebrate the end of the Heisei era. What the f Decade must travel to the world of Double, then the world of O's, then the world of Forze, then the world of Wizard, then the world of Guy, then the world of Drive, then the world of Ghost, then the world of Exe, then the world of Build, then the world of Shinobi, then the world of Quiz, then the world of Kikai, then the world of Ginga. That's gonna, that's all gonna cut out, but uh, I wanted to do it.